Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating a concept model in Rhino, which uh, mine is Rhino 7. So, as you can see, we have a triangular concept model, uh, and in this tutorial, we are going to create it. Uh, so, first of all, I changed the Arctic view to uh, shaded view, and then I go to the top viewport and uh, select these items and drag them to the left side and then I start to model my own uh, triangular shape so I go to uh, polygon tools and I click on the first one and then uh, we should make sure that uh, the norm sides are uh, defined on tree because triangles have uh, three edges. So I uh, choose the edge option because I want to uh, create this triangle by uh, drawing the edge. I hold down shift and then I choose this point. So now we have this triangle. Now I select this curve and type area centroid to uh, make its uh, point in the center and after that we should create some lines because we want to split these spaces so I type L which stands for line and then click on the both sides click the point for its start point and then I choose here after that we should make copies from this line so I click on this and go to the array polar and choose the center uh, the number of items should be 3 right click and then again right click and right click that's it uh, so we have some uh, extended parts which we don't need so I click all of them and type trim and delete these parts okay now we should boolean these curves to uh, have these uh, triangles over here so I go to uh, command bar and type boundary or bo uh, and Rhino is realizing that I have inserted some uh, commands from uh, Elias files uh, and now when I type BO and hit enter uh, it uh, actually knows that this stands for uh, boolean curves so uh, I click all of them, right click, and then I start picking the inside uh, spaces. Number one, number two, and number three. Right click again, number one, number two, and number three. Uh, and now we should create some inside offsets uh, in all the parts. So I go to Curve tools and choose offset multiple. Uh, we should define the distance. Uh, for now, we we'll let it be 0 0.6 and see what happens. So I click all of them, right click, and then click inside. And as you can see, we have uh, the triangles created here. So I choose them like this and I want this center point too I hold alt and drag these to the right side and again we should create uh, central points in all of this space uh, which we created before so I choose one of them type area centroid right click to repeat the comment and again choose this this 
and the remaining parts. Uh, after that, I go to perspective, choose the points, and make a copy out of them by holding down Alt and uh, moving this blue arrow for example to this point after that we should create a sp uh, we should create faces from this point to these edges so I go to a standard panel and then uh, from the surface tools I choose the surface from three or four corner points and then I draw this again and again like that and then I choose them and hit join and uh, the next command will be cap and now we have this solid here which is a closed poly surface so now that we have created this we should make copy out of it so I go to array polar right click right click right click and now we should create a copy a mirrored copy from this object so type mirror hold down shift and again make polar array from this object that's it now we have created what we wanted uh, we should delete some parts that we don't need them anymore uh, so by clicking on filter and choose curves and points we select just curves and points and hit delete uh, I create a, cop a group out of this by typing group enter and move it to the center part of the world axis and go to arctic view uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video uh, if you have any questions you can write it down below in the comment section and I will answer your questions uh, as fast as I can uh, so stay tuned for the uh, further videos that I'm gonna make for you stay tuned and we will be back